Hey guys, welcome back to Lamoria La Musique. Forgive my grubby sweatshirt, but here we are and we're gonna do a beauty haul. Okay, so all the spring sales got in my head and I bought a bunch of stuff. I have had a heck of a month with the family for the last month. Someone in this house, except for me, has been sick with cold, seasonal virus, who knows what. So I have been up all hours of the night. I have done a lot of shopping on my phone. All right, let's start with skincare, makeup, and then we'll move into the wellness products. I totally fell prey to Instagram marketing. I am not above that. I decided I wanted the Wildling Beauty facial cupping set and this white jade, it's called the Lumen Mushroom Stone. Now the facial cups are back ordered. I did order them, but they have not arrived yet, but this did arrive and this arrived in time for me to use it in a Get Unready With Me PM skincare video that I did for Patreon last month, but published it early in April. So I did use this in that video. I love it in short. It is so soothing on the face. The white jade stays very, very cool. Uh, I'm just really happy to have this as a little addition to my tool collection and excited to play with the facial cups when they arrive as well. Okay, what next? Now, the video that you just saw from me, the Eco Beauty on a Budget video, inspired the purchase of these two items from Coco Kind, the Rosewater Toner. It's an organic, 100% organic Bulgarian rose, I think toner and it's lovely for $16.99 I think is the price totally would recommend this as a budget skincare option and then I wanted to replace that beauty balm stick that I talked about and I picked up the Coco Kind it's called the My Matcha All Over Moisture Stick and it's just like three or four ingredients coconut oil beeswax camellia leaf powder and matcha and I really like this too I just love having a big chubby moisture stick like this. It's fun to use. I use it mostly on my lips, but in a pinch, I would use this all over my face too, for example. If we'd be traveling, I love when I look down, the baby's just like looking at me like with rapt attention as my audience. All right, also skincare. The brand is called Forever Healthy Hair, and I discovered Noelle Kavari on Instagram not that long ago. She's in the pro metabolic space, which is becoming quite a trending nutritional lifestyle community online and i've tried following many of the people in that space and i suffice to say there's not a lot of resonance there long term but noelle is one of the people i have found that i just really appreciate her presence her affect her shares she and her husband nick created this company forever healthy hair and it's a bunch of low poofa pro metabolic skincare, if you will. <laughs> I'm not really sure yet how I feel about the whole low PUFA skincare movement. We could maybe get into that in a future podcast or something. There's, there's stuff to untangle there, I think. But I wanted to try her Glow Anti-Aging Skin Perfecting Mask. I actually thought this was a powdered mask, but it is pre-mixed. I used it last night. It has pearl powder in it, which is an ingredient I'm really interested in and intrigued by. It's kind of the non-budget addendum to, you know, I mentioned vitamin E in my beauty budget video is one of the most important internal supplements to look into for skin health. Pearl powder would be the non-budget like beauty skin supplement, both topical and for ingesting. I have some pearl powder to show in a little bit. I would have gotten the Forever Healthy Hair, but it's been out of stock. I do. I will pick it up when it's back in stock because it's a, I forget, there's different kinds of pearl powder, hydrolyzed, extracted. I forget the, the terminology of the kind that the Forever Healthy Hair one is. It is basically the least processed and the I, ideal one. Even though the one I have is vibration extracted and I think it's very, very good quality, I do wanna pick up the Forever Healthy Hair Pearl Powder at some point, but anyway. The Glow Mask, this also has, I think, honey, orange peel. It's slightly exfoliating, um, but I used it last night and I really, really liked it. I also picked up a bottle of Mainstay Advanced Hair Growth Solution. I just was really curious about this. It has caffeine, salicylic acid. Uh, the product description's pretty compelling. I just got it as also part of my postpartum hair regrowth attempts. My postpartum hair loss was really aggressive for about three weeks, but it has since stopped and um, I, I don't 
feel like my hair is much worse for wear, except that it's very long and I desperately need a haircut, which I'm happy to report I have scheduled. But anyway, this is like a non-oily, non-greasy serum that you just apply once a day to the scalp. So I'm excited to, to play around with this. Okay, now for some makeup refreshing. Bless you. I was influenced by my friend Melissa, who told me that I really needed to check out the new, I think these are pretty new, the Fit Glow new pressed powder products. So unfortunately they're not doing those day and night palettes anymore. If they were, I probably would have purchased another one. I had one and I really miss it. I like Fit Glow makeup a lot. I do not really care for their skincare, but I took her word for it and decided to try a couple of these. Now you can buy a magnetic palette to put these in, but this is how they come packaged if you just buy them as little solos, which is really very nice. So I went for the shades to start sun kissed which is quite peachy but the whole selling point of these is you can use them on eyes and cheeks and then i also got this is the one i like a little bit better soft brown now this is very very close to one of the shades that was in the night palette i think and i absolutely love it this one i actually haven't tried yet i think it'll be a really nice spring spring blush color and then i hemmed and hawed for many days about which lip color serum to get i currently have no lip gloss Glosses. I have lipsticks I'm trying to use up. I have lip liners. I have lip balms. I have no lip glosses. And I feel like these are a good investment. They're expensive. I think $42. I ended up going for the shade Buff and I'm very, very happy with it. I have tested it. It's slightly less pink than Nudie, which I have used and loved. And I've also had big busts with these. Like I bought Go some years ago and ended up throwing it away because it was such a bad nothing type of color on me and I disliked it intensely. So I think I chose correctly with Buff. Uh, Fit Glow also sent a couple of samples. They're good with that. They send these little sample packets. A mini lip color serum in Gospel, which is a little bit too rosy and dark for me. And then samples of the Cloud Ceramide Body Cream, which I haven't tried, and the Calm Cleansing Milk. I'll just use these the next time we go on a trip or something. Okay, next, also influenced. I've been influenced a lot lately. I guess I've been amenable to being influenced. <laughs> Melissa, same Melissa that inspired me to pick up the Fit Glow, sent me a video of a former Hourglass makeup artist who was decluttering her makeup collection on YouTube. And it was so good. It was just very zen. She had a lot of hourglass in her collection and it inspired me to take advantage of their 20% off friends and family order. By the way, like everything I've purchased, I've gotten discounts on because it's just been the time of year for, for beauty discounts. Everyone is, has been doing spring discounts. I don't currently have, a, the only powder I have right now is my Suntegrity powder, which is, you know, fine. It, this is not exactly the most luxe experience. And I just wanted something a little bit, maybe more, I, I don't know, refined. So I went for a full size ambient lighting powder. I have, de I had decluttered maybe last year, the trio, which I really, really liked, but I went for a shade I've never tried. I went for luminous light which looks like it's gonna be kind of perfect. I just want this as a, a very light setting powder and I went for a full size pan of it and I'm excited. Also went for one of their glitter eyeshadow scattered light toppers because I just needed a fun pick me up. The last makeup pick me up I had done was this little Natasha Denona mini palette for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be doing a makeup declutter in the style of this video that I was inspired by because I think I'm due for another one. This is beautiful. Wow. I went for the shade. They have like six or seven in the range. I went for smoke, which is a wow. Absolutely beautiful. Woo. I'm into that. I'm going to do the inaugural test of this on this week's live get ready with me i do live get ready with me every thursday morning on patreon sometimes i have to move it to friday but almost always thursday mornings 
And then the last Thursday of every month, it's a live Q&A <clears throat> with uh, the tier beneath the Get Ready With Me. I wish there was a simpler way to, to organize the tiered, and it kinda, I feel like I'm constantly explaining the tiered, nested tiered content on Patreon. But anyway, inaugural test of this, and like I'll be using all, all this stuff on my live Get Ready With Me's. Then I also took advantage of Svetlana's foreskin code <laughs> with um, a couple of Gressa products that I had been had been on my wish list. So I went for the eye tint in Roasted, which I had tried a sample of. Hi, baby. It's actually a bit cooler than I remember from the sample that I had tried. This is a very cool sort of mushroomy taupe. I have already been kind of using it. But really, really, really nice, minimal, kind of sculpted, easy, cool daytime look. Um, I do remember it being slightly warmer. It, it, it sort of reminds me of the tonality of my Viseart Cool Mats. It's similar to sort of these. And then I also decided to pick up on Svetlana's urging, I was gonna get another pot of Bare Lip Boost, but I went with Lilith. She said that Lilith is like Bare on steroids. And it's this very pretty, slightly less pink. Mm, I mean, what would you, what would we call this? It's not really a rose. It's sort of just a, a muted pink, deeper pink neutral. Uh, I really like it. It is ever so slightly a little gray on me, ever so slightly. Um, but I can correct that quite easily with a little bit of a pinkier lip liner. My absolutely ideal shade would be a hint of bare into Lilith. I'm wearing this on my cheeks and a bit on my lips today. I've been playing around with it, very happy with it. That is it for makeup. Now for wellness stuff, I am trying a new toothpaste or I've been waiting to try it until I film this video. It's by the brand Wellness. And I got a children's toothpaste for my three and a half year old and then the fresh mint toothpaste for myself and maybe I'll be able to convince Kaveh to use it too. The main selling point with these for me is they are glycerin free, which Risewell is not, but they also use naturally sourced hydroxyapatite. So it's not a nano hydroxyapatite, which a lot of hydroxyapatite toothpastes are. I emailed them about it to ask. So it's the similar hydroxyapatite used in Risewell, but without glycerin. The issue with glycerin in toothpastes is that it can prevent teeth from remineralizing themselves. Um, so I just thought these were these were worth a try. This is strawberry flavored and fresh mint. Now also in the dental category. I'm currently using some Rupam's Herbals tooth soap, which I like. Okay. More to say on that. I probably should do a dental care video coming up, but I placed a Shen Blossom order. I learned about them through Matt Blackburn. I have tried a couple of things, Biocean Mineral Ampules and the Reishi Syrup, which I like. So there were some other things. I kind of have an ongoing list. So every time they do a sale, I kind of am going to add to my collection, but I picked up their tooth cleanser and tooth polish. Next time I will probably also get the, they have an oil pulling oil. I still have some living libations, oil pulling oil, and they have some other, Shen Blossom has some other dental care products, but the tooth polish you're supposed to use a couple of times a week and the cleanser you're supposed to use every day. But they're a powder product that you kind of, I think it's gonna be a little bit, maybe a bit of a learning curve to learn how to use these. But I did also see on the site that you, it's maybe not ideal, but you can just dip your toothbrush Oh, it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. You can't really see, but it's, wow. It just smells like minty, but way better than a traditional mint, almost like evergreen. Um, and then it, they just have really interesting ingredients like herbs and I think this is like a charcoal. Yeah, this one's, doesn't really, this one doesn't really have much of a scent at all. Then I also got, because of all of our, family respiratory struggles, I realized I need to up my medicine cabinet game a bit. So I just need to have more stuff on hand. And I got the Shen Blossom Protect Cough Syrup, which would have been really useful, especially for me to give to Kaveh. He had strep, um, not diagnosed, but we know it was strep for some other reasons. This is fermented barley syrup and then like a bunch of herbs and stuff, but the base is, is barley syrup. And then I got some of the Protect throat sprays. This is the Nini Koo 
garlic thyme oh yeah nini cool immune throat spray so i got the mint and the garlic thyme there's also a turmeric if you go on the website and read the descriptions they kind of have different aims all kind of aimed at soothing the throat but there's different indications for each of the three i just got these two to start the mint one you can also apparently use on your scalp very into scalp health at the moment i guess because of my postpartum stuff. So that's Shen Blossom. Uh, a couple of other things. I did pick up the Mitolife Probiotic and Endotoxin Reducer to try. This is a Mitolife product I haven't yet tried. And I'm also currently working with the Mitolife Mag ATP. I'm undecided on this. I can really only take it in the evening before bed. Otherwise, I get a little bit of um, digestive upset from it. He has reformulated this. So I think he's taking out the l 3 n 8 which is the most expensive one and the only patented form of magnesium. This formulation, the first formulation is currently on big discount. It's, I think, half the price that it normally was, $35. You can use my code LAMOUR, L-A-M-O-U-R, to get 15% off of that. Vitamin E is back in stock. Shila G is going to be coming back in stock. So I did want to mention that. Okay, a couple other quick things. I am newly going to be trying the brand that I've seen everyone talk about online, Perfect Supplements. I had been getting my collagen and gelatin from Saturi, which is an Australian brand, but I decided to go ahead. Oh, that's actually neither of these products, but I did go on to order the Perfect Supplements collagen and gelatin. This is the desiccated liver and the perfect bone broth it's a chicken bone broth powder because i don't always have bone broth on hand so i thought that this would just be interesting to try people love this brand love this brand all right then another new favorite company of mine again learned about from matt blackburn sometime over the summer who has just totally revolutionized my health and supplement routines and and vendors that i shop with okay so crucial four this is my i think second order with them i got a restock of the icelandic flake salt this is incredible it was it's been out of stock but just comes back in stock so you just have to monitor it so i got the i know baby i got the one pound bag and then I got also, this is a restock of the wild crafted camu powder. I had gone through a whole bag of this, absolutely love it. I put it into smoothies, um, which I can get my three and a half year old to drink. I got the, I got the Crucial 4 M Balance, which is their pearl powder. It's a vibration extracted. So again, you have to look into uh, the different forms of pearl powder. The one I think you really don't want is the hydrolyzed because I just think that the quality is probably not quite as good. But this is just supposed to be an amazing, amazing internal supplement. You can use it topically as well, which I'm planning on doing when I can get a hold of the Forever Healthy Hair one. And then I got two tinctures. I got the olive leaf and the chaga tinctures. And these, I think, are what was kind of solely responsible. Not solely. I did a lot of things to avoid getting sick while everyone around me was, was unwell. During my live Q&A for what month? March. So last week, I usually do a little intro while people are coming on and getting ready to ask questions. So I've done an intro about um, my immunization choices with this baby. I did, I forget what I did the month after that. Um, oh, I think I talked about Soma Vedic one month. And then the lead in intro to last month's Q and A was everything I did to avoid going down for the count with a virus. And these both helped immensely, the olive leaf and the chaga tinctures. I think they, cause there was a point where it was looking like I was really gonna come down with something after the homeopathy and some other things I had done. And I started incorporating these and I felt like that is what kind of what fully cleared things out. So great company. They're based outside of Austin in Texas. Charles Barber, I've the founder of the company, I've heard interviewed. He's just such a funny, great energy guy. Okay, last thing. I got on 35% discount because of my friend Erin. I was watching her Instagram stories and she posted about this company, which again, in the pro-metabolic, low PUFA online space, people have been talking a lot about this brand Pipette and their mineral sunscreen, SPF 50. Now, typically I have been in years past using Babo, which is a physical SPF for the whole family really. But I guess Pipette doesn't use polyunsaturated fatty acid oils. I don't know. This is just something, information I've kind of started entertaining really since the beginning of last summer. I bought a couple of sun balm products from 
the Sunfolk Shop. She has a Sunny Balm product that I have tried and really like. And then I have the Living Libations Everybody Loves the Sun Oil, which I also like a lot. And apparently you can also use the Forever Healthy Hair Mainstay as a sunscreen so it's not this is not just a scalp product it can also be because caffeine apparently is a natural sunscreen who knew more for people to research if you feel so inclined I decided to pick up at 35 percent off the pipette mineral sunscreen now you can use this apparently people use this on their face uh it's 20 percent zinc oxide it has squalene which i know is really popular in this low poofa skincare movement and i also got the pipette baby balm because i can always use stuff like this i talked about the dr bronner's magic balm in my budget video which i love but i just i kind of keep these everywhere you know in the bathrooms in a bag in the common areas because someone always has a need for a balm somewhere right and then this was a free gift the look awake eye gel i'll try it i don't have very high hopes but i'll try it and then i also decided to get a four pack of baby's going after the balm uh the, ba the pipette baby wipes because i can always use baby wipes i mean we just on a daily basis use the ones you get at costco use the costco baby wipes i've tried so so many seventh generation honest which i don't really like either i do like this brand i think it's called like millie something or other from target i like those um but we'll see how these go and that my friends is everything always satisfying to film a Mercedes shops haul video because now I can put everything away and it doesn't have to stay pristine and I can actually start start using everything so thank you for listening to me talk about how I spent all my money in the last month and I have other things coming in the mail but I had to cut this video off somewhere I haven't done a, a good Mercedes shops video in such a long time that this was extremely therapeutic and I love you guys and let me know what you've been picking up. And if you have any recommendations for me when I'm on my phone at two o'clock in the morning because the baby is up and teething and that's just my life right now, let me know what I can research online and keep my eye on for sales. I will have everything listed and linked below and I will talk to you guys later.